Hi right, guys, I'm back out. Less than 24 hours since I was last out with Christopher. I've come back by myself because I've left all my gear. Well, I left a lot of valuable gear I thought I took home. And I know this place has been discovered by one or two people, well, at least three people, because I left a note. They were respectful, they didn't take anything, so I wasn't too bothered about the likes of those people. I don't know who they are, they're just people who subscribe to the channel and found the camp. It's the people that, the dishonest people that may find the camp and take me gear. That's caught me eye that. Like the structure over there. There's a lot of breakages here in the forest now. Most of it's caused by the storms. But if every now and again you come across something that just doesn't look right. You know, in the past I found trees crossing together in the shape of an X. Well, it just didn't look natural to me. Wood breaks is one thing. You'll always get the skeptics that will turn around and say, well, it's just natural that. And to be honest, perfectly honest with you, yeah, it can be. Camp is basically in an area where there's very little chance of a big tree coming down because they're not really too big to begin with. And the parts of the forest that's been hammered by the wind is neighbouring plantations, which are trees are a lot bigger and have seen to have caught the wind more. Hopefully my gear will still be here. probably very unlikely that things would have gotten took because you know you see how difficult it is to get here and the people that have found the camp are people who enjoy walking in the area and have stumbled across it and they seem to be you know honest people so yep I mean I could go home with my gear but I'm here now might as well do an overnighter and I brought my stove what I was planning on doing is closing that area off at the front but I'm going to have to work in the dark and it's going to be a little bit tricky. Right, what I want to do is just put, cover the entrance with tarps, put the, the top tarp on first and the bottom one on. But I can't really reach to the top so I've put a loop on the centre eyelet, use a long stick and hang it on and then use two long guy lines which I've already attached to kind of wrap it around and tie it at the back somehow. I thought it was going to be a little bit more fiddlier than that. I've guided the top out at both ends and I've just tied it to two existing pegs that's already on the teepee. And, uh, yep, all I'm going to do now is the, is the lower bit and that'll be my door. I had a space blanket attached to that top. Originally I used it as a, like emergency big bug out top. You can have it as a lean-to and a fire in front and it would reflect the heat back and it never got used. I thought, well, yeah, it's gonna get used now and that that foil will reflect a little bit of heat back as well not much but you know quite a bit and that hole at the top's virtually closed off so once I get the doorway on and a fire going oh it's gotta be toasty and warm in here like these two eyelets have got some polypropylene twine connected and I've just attached it to these two holes here together a lot quicker than I thought it would. A lot easier than what I thought it would be. 
I've got the door on there now and I've just got it tied on with bits of string and I'll do a proper job like tomorrow. But basically I've just got it like rough and ready. It's not gonna blow away. I could tie it down a little bit better when it's daylight. I don't know how it is but this place, I charge batteries up at home and then I come out here and it just seems to go flat, really easy. You know what it is? That's the third battery that's gone flat on us. And I've hardly blown and had them switched on. This thing is playing up now. Taking a bit of that to switch on, it was just like a, a spinning wheel of death. Hey, you know what it is. It's just raining out. I'm getting freaked out here. You know, it's a new SD card. Just one thing after another tonight, it's just weird things happening. Things going flat on us. You know, this place, I like to say everything that's happening, it's just don't like natural things. But the fact is, it's happening too often where my devices gone flat for whatever reason. <sighs> camera batteries don't mind. The camera, cameras always seem to be fine. Like I say, my phone's gone flat quicker than what it usually do. And some people have mentioned that it could be because it's hunting for the network, because it's such a low signal. That it's using energy, it's using battery life that way, constantly trying to connect which is, is a possibility, so I'll keep an open mind. Right, I'm gonna set the stove on fire. Does that doesn't sound right, does it? I'm gonna light the stove. You can buy expensive stove jacks, and they're not cheap. You can make one from next to nothing, very little. A couple of pounds from B&M, cut me holder. I've got a Jubilee clip, and I've got it held in the middle with uh, bits of wire. In fact, when I'm out shopping with a wife, if I've got to go shopping, I'm always on the hunt for stuff I can use in the woods. That's, that's my idea of shopping. Basically got loads of wood I prepared, a couple of nights ago with Christopher. It's not 100% dry. I've got a couple of bags of like wood which I've had in the shed for ages, and this is bone dry. And I'm just going to chop them into little sticks. I dug a hole and I got this log, and I stuck it in the ground so it looks like a tree stump. Seriously, the wood's bone dry. It's been in the shed for about a year. Right, like, that's not working now. Always bring a spare later. Two is one and one is none. The thing is with this, it's got a bit too much wax in it. You need a little bit of the paper, which acts like a wick. I'm gonna be lovely and toasty tonight. This comes off. You put the pot on there, boil water, cook food. Love it. Absolutely love it. So what I'll do is I'll split a few of them logs into smaller sizes just till the fire is established. That's not a real problem. You have to put a wire cap and you don't make sense to you. No, it makes sense.
Customs. Best before February 22. I've used tins that have been three or four years in the day. It's been perfectly fine. Tins of corned beef, you just forget about your custom with a battle of cover before you know it. A couple of years ago, it's passed and I'm really bad for rotating the food. I don't do it enough. Nothing to report on yet. I haven't heard anything unusual. So, time will tell. Actually, I'm not hot to know, like, I've got a couple of video. So careful with spokes plastic, even against the, even touch the, the stove it will just start burning. I've already had some wood catch fire, that's been touching the sides, the wood have been drying out. It smells okay, not fantastic, to be honest with you, it smells like dog food. Doesn't look very nice. But it tastes nice. You're probably noticing, guys, I'm filming on three different cameras today. Multi camera edit. That's the light behind us there. The one last light that works. Once that battery goes flat, I've got even less light. Seeing that, the little light that I've got here, that wasn't working before, now it is. Weird. The one on the top of the battle, that one there. But I keep that one switched off, because you only need one for vlogging. It's just absolutely weird how things is just switching off on us. Like the field recorder. It took ages to switch on, it was saying no SD card, but I formatted it while it was in there. It was never took out, I touched after that. So then why would it say no SD card? You know this guys, we'll try this. Steamed steak and instant mashed potato. Meat seasoning. This guy's got them bugs in it. I haven't been able to have a look at the chimney where there's any sparks coming in. I'll go have a look, guys. Blinded new, dazzled, lost my night vision. You can't vlog in the dark in a forest because you're just gonna whack into a tree and lose an eye. But you know, I'm quite happy with it. The setup, the way it's going. Never heard any wildlife. There's a turkey wing which I've chucked over there next to the field recorder. You may hear the sound of a fox munching on a turkey wing. of rubbish and that there. Need sorting it like I need to take a few things home with us. Put all the wood over there. And this is me little sitting area. Sitting area. I could probably get in a couple of guests in here. I was going to build a raised bed down that side on the on the uneven part but you know these guys I don't think I need to bother. The only good point I can see is that make the raised bed and put it in an area of the TV where it's uneven, where I wouldn't be able to lie anyway. Use that as a sleeping area. I can store things underneath. And then I've got the nice flat area here. If anybody else wants to come camping, you know what I mean? It's, it's an area for somebody else to keep. 
So guys, I'm just going to tuck it in my tea and I'll get back to you later anyway. Well guys, it's uh, 23 in the morning. I just can't switch off. It's absolutely blowing a gale out there. It's getting worse. It's getting... I don't know if you how well it can hear that, but that wind is really bad. This place isn't as sheltered as what I thought it would be. A lot of the tops, like the door now, is flapping the wind, it's flapping like crazy. I keep thinking it's a lovely mild night, to I go outside. Yeah, it's absolutely bitter cold. And I realise that it's, this stove is keeping the temperature at a very comfortable level. I wouldn't say it's hot. It is sitting next to me. You know, it's really cosy. You know, when I'm walking around, I'm not cold at all. I've heard one or two strange noises like, ooh, ooh. I think that could just be the trees green and like, like, a cro like a groaning noise. Having that chopping block there is no good because I was chopping logs and this was flying off and hitting me bivvy. And I just know that it's going to puncture it or you know, damage it at some point. Some of these logs have got bits of branches on them and I've been chopping them off. It was getting dark when I was collecting the wood and I just wanted to get them to a, a size where I could finish them off in the kitty before it rained. A good little system, but like I say, it's, it's too near me bivy. I haven't really cut on my own here for a, a long time. Things are playing on my mind a bit more like when you're coming with somebody, you've got that sense of security. Even though if there was anything really bad up there, having an extra person here, what difference does it make? It's coming psychological, that's all it is. You know, I can't I'm saying it, and I, I'm up in the room and I'm thinking, what happens if I see some glowing eyes? And then I freak myself up because I'm thinking like that instead of just forgetting the just getting on with it. Humans have instincts, basic instincts, don't they? Like fear, paranoia, it's part of the evolution, isn't it? Those that have more fear and respect fear than that, right? They don't take risks. are more likely to pass their genes on to the next generation. I hear noises, but it's just the trees. Right guys, I'm going to get a real waffle on and off. You have to do a bit of hot tent and you know it makes sense to you. You know it makes sense. This is interesting. Do you know who I said that I... Three of my batteries had gone flat. But all showing low battery. Tried one of the batteries again. It's working. It's not showing low. I've had it switched on for a couple of minutes now. 99? Look at that. That one works. Did I try that one? 99. Oops. That one works. I'll try them all again. That one works. Explain that one, guys. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Two lights, four batteries. Two batteries for each one. And I always charge them before I come out. And it's only like a place, it's only when I come to Harwood Forest it seems to happen. Oh, hey. Morning. Well, it was four o'clock last night before I finally tried to get some sleep. I just couldn't switch off. That wind was blowing a gale. And um, the, the whole teepee was like flapping, you know, the, the, the tops on it. And I thought, this is a sheltered forest. I didn't think the wind would be that bad. Overall, I'm really happy with the teepee, the size of it. It's not gonna foul doing with the wind. The tops need adjusting, guide down better. And I did notice one or two holes developing in the top last night. Well, the chimney's got a spark arrestor, but it's not that good. And every now and again, I saw a little bit of like hot ash coming up the top. If this was a, a top end canvas teepee, then yeah, I would be a little bit concerned with holes and that. And I, I would probably like, invest in a better spot wrestler but you know me guys I'm cheap very cheap and I got pleasure out of making things on a budget just like the uh, stove jack 
for now guys I'm just gonna get away because I'm waffling too much you know it's just people get sick of the waffling and you know what I mean so without further ado get out and do a bit of wild camping and hot tenting you know it makes sense you know it makes sense That's done, throw down a few more trees and I just can't see a way out of here. I may be a case of take my backpack off and just do some, uh, do a recce, hope to get out of here. Well guys, if you don't hear from us, then I haven't been able to get home and upload, but since you're watching on YouTube, I must have managed it and found my way out. Just looks impregnable, doesn't it? We'll see you on the next one.